Hey everybody, Zero here, and welcome back to more Ace Academy. Third part, I'm recording in a row for today, and these videos are, will probably all go up in succession. So hopefully this will that will be alright for you guys. But I, again, I just want to keep playing this game. I do not want to stop. I'm having too much fun playing this game. But if you guys remember last part, um, we, we went to this uh, parody thing, and you guys don't really get a chance. I, I'm not really giving you guys a chance to choose, because I, I'm, I'm impatient. Thing is, I want to play more of this game, right? I freaking love this game. It's hilarious. It's amazing. I, I'm saying for plot reasons, okay? Um, let her go, pull her closer. It's weird to see Clumsy Curie. I want to see what will happen if I do this, but... No, not let her go, pull her closer. No. Uh... Okay, I will try this one. This would be my first pick, but let's go with this one for now. Yeah, I pull her into me. No. You're lucky I was here to catch you. Shut up! Really? That's all you're going to say? She scrunches her face as if trying to remember something. Oh. What? Stop being a perv. <laughs> yeah, I knew that was a bad idea. Okay, that's why I said that's not my choice. Let her go. It's weird to see Clumsy Kyuri. I immediately set her back on her feet. You need to be more careful. Thanks. It came out of the ground and attacked me. What did? You must be really drunk. That's not how it happened. She uncar She's uncaricious. Characteristically quiet for a while. It's strange to see her so calm. She's usually so fiery. Your reaction time is better than I remember. <laughs> oh well. Thanks. You've improved a lot since our first match. I still can't believe you took out all three of them by yourself. Well, I guess under alcohol, you're revealing things that you don't mean to. It's kind of like truth serum. I can know. Well, truth serum doesn't like make you tell the truth. It it just decrease it decreases the probability that you're going to lie, right? She looks straight into my eyes. Oh, no. My heart beats faster under her gaze. She leans in closer to me. Oh, no. You are really impressive. I'm scared. <laughs> Do my ears deceive me or did Kyrie just give me a compliment? I think the latter, actually. Is that really what you think? Yeah. I never knew you felt that way. So what? Oh, my God. You're acting. This is a love story. My guy in the game is being an idiot. Nothing, it's just like, nice to know that you like me. Oh my god. Well, I didn't choose this. I'm just gonna... Can you guys give me like 10 minutes to facepalm here? A actually, that hurts. I'm gonna stop. Her cheeks are red, but I can't tell if it's from the alcohol or this conversation. Shut up! It's not like that. She's like, fuck! <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I've got to be done. We arrive in front of her building and Kyori steps to the entrance. Um, what? Don't ask her anything. Uh, wait. I might actually be able to draw some information, but I'm scared. Don't ask her anything. Okay, this is the top one I'm picking it. Kyori has opened up to me a lot. I wonder if she'll tell me who she was with the other night. Wait. She turns back to me. Can I ask you something? What? She still seems drunk. That night I ran into you in the parking lot. What were you doing with that older guy? She cocks her head to the side, amused. Why? Are you jealous? Is it your boyfriend or something? Um, I don't care if he's your boyfriend. I'm concerned. No, I'm just worried. You don't have to be worried. I can take care of myself. Not in this drunk state, you can't. I don't doubt that. So, do you have your ID? Kyrie nods and fishes it out of her pocket. <laughs> Good night. Thanks for walking me home. I really didn't get any information. And she's going to remember this. That's the problem. Well, actually, the alcohol might delete a lot of her memory. Are you going to be okay? Do you need help getting back to into your room? Nah, I won't fall for that. <laughs> you aren't getting into my room. <laughs> I actually wasn't thinking that. That was That's funny. That wasn't my intention. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. I'm not drunk at all. Okay, good night then. Oh, I almost forgot. What? Hmm? Eh? I'm caught off guard as she combs her hands through my golden locks. Oh, God. Nah! Uh, it's so soft and she's drunk. That's why she's doing it. Oh, good God. What? <laughs> That's my exact reaction to real. <laughs> oh, my God. Thank you, game. That is hilarious. I've laughed more at this game than I have in real life in the past week. Just her voice. Mmm. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> I'm too stunned to react. Kiri steps back in her mind and admires her handiwork. She smiles, then swipes her ID and disappears into the building. What the hell just happened? 
Um, that was kind of an interesting night. Damn, that was awesome! <laughs> if, only was, if, if only I was able to record Drunk Kiri for Sober Kiri to see. <laughs> Do not put that on the internet. I'm fearing him, I'm feeling embarrassed just thinking about it. Good God. With Kiri safely inside, to head back to my bike and drive home. By it's late by the time I get home, and everyone is fall and everyone is already asleep. I tiptoe into my room and collapse into my bed, exhausted. I fall asleep as soon as my head hits the pillow. I still have to apologize to Nikki. <laughs> I I love this game so much. It's so much fun. The sun is shining through my window, splashes on my face, and wakes me up. I stretch into a wide yawn and glance at the clock. Nearly ten. It better be a weekend. I'm glad I got a chance to sleep in after. The party last night, but I don't want to waste my weekend. I hop out of bed and get ready for the day. Oh, I'm gonna just everything. I had uh, one drink at the party. Oh, uh, what's my plan for today? Maybe. Whoa! There's only one option. It's like pick this, 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 this. I mean, what? Well, at least we had to do this, right? Maybe Kiri will show me how she made her delicious bento. I'm kind of hungry. Nikki will probably have food downstairs. Wait, no, she's pissed. But lately, I've been craving the sushi Kiri made. Really, if I, I really should make an effort to eat healthier, and the and those rolls seem simple enough to make. I mean, if Kiri can do it, then so can I. Well, she is rather skilled. I'll ask her how she made them, and then maybe I'll surprise Nikki by making lunch. That's edible. <laughs> Got him. I call up Kiri, and there's a flood of noise when she answers. What is it? What is going on? Oh, you're not drunk anymore. I can tell. Hello to you too. Oh, right. Hi. I want to know how you made those delicious rolls. Remember the maki sushi? Oh, yeah, roll sushi you made for lunch? Yeah. How did you make them? Oh, it's really easy. You need rice, nori, vinegar. What is nori? The voices in the background are getting so loud that I can barely hear your carry. You're kind of cutting off. Where are you? I'm in the mall. Actually, I'm in the store grabbing groceries. If you come by, I can just show you what ingredients to get. All right, I'll go grab some groceries then. Okay, I'll head over. Don't forget to grab your 10,000 yen bill or whatever. Actually, I think 10,000 yen is the highest uh, b bill of currency in uh, Japanese things. I don't know. I think so. Hurry. I'm only here for a little bit, and then I'm gone. Okay, okay. Uh, where are you going? But she's already hung up the phone. Right up. Oh, well. Oh, well. I better get to the mom before she leaves. After making my plans, I head downstairs. Am I dressed? I better okay. be. Didn't see you there, big bro. Can I apologize for before? She seems, she seems to be back to her usual self. I'm glad to see you're feeling better. <laughs> oh yeah, I definitely am. Oh no. Does that mean she's gonna get revenge? As she speaks, a devilish smile grazes her lips. Yeah! Hmm, she's up to something. I was right! I was right! But being right is not always a good thing, so I'm probably screwed. Anyway, you going out today? I certainly am. Yeah, why? She starts giggling. Mm, no reason. Oh no. Uh, I need to lock my room before I go. Actually, let me head back upstairs. Okay. Hey, I'm actually glad I ran into you. I want to apologize. Apologize? She she looks weird. I, yeah, I saw your text from a couple of days ago, and I'm sorry I didn't answer. I didn't have my phone on me, so I didn't see them until too late. He crosses her arms. Yeah, sure. Likely story. Oh my god. No, no, really. I accidentally left it in my gear. <laughs> what? I use it as my charging station. I know not to do that anymore, though. Twice. <laughs> oh, come on. At least come up with something more believable. It is the truth. Shut up. What's more believable than the truth? No, really, it's the truth. What was your phone doing in your gear in the first place? I was charging it. He was charging. She blinks at me. You really are hopeless. <laughs> I am hopeless. Look. I pull my messages and flash the phone in her face. Rolling her eyes, she reluctantly takes a look. Hmm. It just sounded like, and not like, oh. Uh, what do you mean by, oh? Nikki bites her lip as she continues scrolling. No. Oh, no. She hands back my phone. She seems worried about something. Probably for how she mean, probably for how mean she was to me yesterday. Are you not going to play that trick on me then? It's okay, Nikki. I understand why you were angry yesterday, but I wanted to know, but I wanted you to know I didn't do it on purpose. No hard feelings, right? Um, about that. Not this embarrassing music. Oh God! Please don't tell me I was right about that thing before, remember though. Remember when? Wait, huh? Remember when you said you were going out today? Right? Yeah. You might not want to do that. 
Why? Why not? Nikki shuffles her feet and continues to bite her lip. Because you definitely don't want to go into the garage. You broke my bike, you bi- Okay, I can't say it. My eyes widen. I spin on my heel and race toward the garage as Nikki cries out for me to wait. Oh, good God. Throwing open the door, I feel like a hand is squeezing my heart. Nikki catches up with me and cringes. Now, before you get mad... My guy's gonna get mad before... Nikki. Just remember that I was really, really annoyed with you and wanted revenge. Oh my god. Not helping. She quiets down but can't stand the silence. At least it looks really pretty now. Oh, so she didn't destroy it. Okay. It looks like a unicorn threw up all over my baby. Oh, good god. All I can do is stare in horror at the glittery desecration of my beautiful bike. Nikki hides her face in her hands. <laughs> At least you didn't break it. I promise I'll clean it up. How long will that take? I need to get go somewhere. Yeah, you will. Let me get a bucket. Quick, please. Nikki turns to leave, but I sigh. Not right now. I have to go. I take another look at the pink sparkles winking in the light. Oh my god. Maybe I should take the bus. No, I can't. The bus won't come for another twenty minutes, and I need to leave now. Okay, uh, I'll clean it up later then. Huh. I nod. With a grimace, I reluctantly ease myself onto my bike. Am I gonna see the bike pink? Their engine roars to life and glitter flutters behind me in a rainbow trail of happiness. <laughs> oh my god! This is so embarrassing. Eh, this is so embarrassing. <laughs> Thank you! It actually seems like me saying that now. I park my bike in the lot and make my way into the building. The supermarket is tucked into a corner of the sprawling mall. So there's no way Curie will just be walking the aisles full of processed snacks. So I head directly to the produce aisle. Just as I guessed, I spot Curie picking out vegetables. Hi. She looks way different. She glances at me as I approach. Ah, uh, you made it. She looks way different. Holy crap. Yeah. Her car is filled with different fruits and vegetables. I got her just in time. It looks like she's almost ready to check out. So what type of sushi do you want to make? The same type that you made before. It was delicious. Hey, cucumber rolls! I love cucumber rolls. Um, I don't really like tuna. Cucumber rolls. That sounds nice. Cucumber rolls. Kapamaki. Yeah, I've had that before. And that's exactly the name it was on the menu. Exactly. Good choice. These are really light, but keep you full. Can we get avocado as well? Avocado? I, I recently developed a more of a taste for, like, avocado, and I've discovered my love of avocado. Avocado is amazing, and I believe the Japanese word for avocado is avocado. Correct me if I'm wrong. There might be another word for it, but uh, that's probably the Englishized word. Because English takes over everything, of course. She gives me a cucumber out of her shopping cart. Here, take this one. It's really fresh. All right, thank you. No, I couldn't. Um, oh, okay, are these all for me? No, I don't need your charity. No, I couldn't. That's okay, you already did all the, all the work to pick it out, so you should keep it. I'll grab my own. I walk over to the cucumbers and randomly select one. Normally, I just throw it in my basket, but under Kiori's watchful gaze, I feel like I should do more. Yeah, I do the exact same thing in real life. I wouldn't care which one is which. I just throw it in the basket and be like, Hell no, man, I'm not checking this. I'm not wasting my time. But it's like, well, I guess I have to do it now. Because I feel like pretty much anyone else but me would actually check the bloody cucumber, right? I would legit never check it at all. Never, ever, ever not waste my time doing that. And there's a reason I like to plan before I go out and know what I'm going to buy so I don't waste hours walking around in a mall. I don't really like the idea of just like walking around in a mall just like browsing. I mean, I'll, I'll browse a catalog if I'm at home and can like do anything else that's right afterwards. But if I have to like go home from some place or whatever, I have to go some place like for them, if I wanted to record and got bored of like be, for example, being at the mall, I would want to be, to, like, to here instantly, because I don't want to waste my time. I mean, I can just browse things at a store online, right? And it should be accurate. Okay. Oh, my voice is getting really dry. I hold it up towards the light. Yep, this one looks good. Curry sighs, but, also, but there's also a trace of a smile on her lips. I don't see any trace of a smile at all. You should squeeze it gently to test firmness. As long as it's firm and doesn't feel soft or bend. It should be okay. Oh, God. <laughs> okay. Uh, thanks. For That's what she... <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> oh, thank you, game, for making that joke. I know. Oh. <laughs> okay. I I'm picking this one, but I want to see what this is anyways. That's what she said. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> 
<laughs> she throws her brows and it hits her. <laughs> I know, I just wanted to see her reaction. Oh, whatever, that was pure gold. Okay, I'm gonna rewind here. That's what she said though. <laughs> thanks for the advice. All right, thanks. A gentle squeeze confirms that this one is good, so I put it in my basket. I, right, as Kyori gathers everything I will need, she imparts step-by-step -step instructions for how to cook and assemble them. Am I gonna need like extra starch rice? Because I've heard that you like um, starch with no, rice with extra starch, so it actually sticks together in the roll. I am no sushi expert by the way. I'd love to be able to make sushi properly, but actually I've never tried making it. I, maybe, I, maybe I should try. I maybe I'll go out to the store later, buy some things, make some sushi, have like dinner or whatever. I don't know. All right. As Kira gathers everything I need, she imparts step-by-step -step instructions for how to cook and assemble them. Okay. Got it. I got you, fam squad. Although I didn't really hear anything. Yeah, I think so. Good. Anyway, that's everything, and I have to get going. So let's check out. Okay. Wasting no time, she drags me to the checkout counter so we can pay. I patiently wait for the clerk to finish bagging all of our items. Here, let me hold your bags. Uh oh. Kira begins to protest, but I grab her bags before she can. Fine. But only because you want to. Fuck! Uh, yeah, you are this freaking tsundere. I have concrete evidence. You at least said that, like, but only because you want to, or, like, for some excuse or reason. You are a freaking tsundere, okay? You are a tsundere. Good God. I nod, holding my bags in one hand and hers in the other. She silently leads me out of the store and pauses right outside the mall entrance. Thanks. But I can carry it from here. This looks like the school. It's okay. Do you take the bus? I'll carry it to the bus stop for you. Oh, good God. No. <laughs> she snatches the bags from one of my hands. Thanks, but I'll see you later. What? Okay. Okay, bye. I'm barely able to reply before she runs off. She seems to be in a hurry. I wonder where she's going. Well, it doesn't matter. I'm starving. Time to get home and make this delicious meal. Nikki will be so impressed. Don't let Nikki see what you're making, though. I balance out my bags between my hands. I spot a purple eggplant in one of them. Did she forget one of her bags? Hmm? I didn't get an eggplant. Oh, no! These are Kiori's bags. That means she has mine. Uh-oh. Ah, oh, she rushed off in a hurry. That's why. Uh-oh. I need to catch her before it's too late. My, my legs began pumping before I even finished the thought. As I race towards the bus stop, I spot that fancy white car from the other day with the same man from before leaning against it. Kyrie runs toward him. My legs tangle as I try to suddenly stop and stumble noisily behind a parked car. I peek out to see the man hasn't moved. Phew, woo! Nobody heard me. You know, the man sli splits into a wide smile when he sees Kyrie and envelops her into another hug. Then he plants a kiss on her cheek. Kyrie embraces him back. He looks really old. She's not in her right mind. Um, that one. He, she's, he's clearly brainwashed her. There's no other explanation to explain how he's still intact. That means she's in trouble and I need to help her. Oh, God. No, that man takes a grocery bag and places them in the care. Well, both he and Curie climb inside. Could be her father, okay? I dive out of my hiding place and sprint to my bike. I can't let them out of my sight. That's a bad idea. Luckily, I'm parked close enough to spot them exiting the parking lot. I keep a good distance between us as I speed down the road behind them. It's a bad idea to do this. I tried to keep a car between us uh, to block me from view, but every so often I, but every so often a vehicle will switch lanes, leaving me exposed. Still, the white car doesn't change pace or give any indication it knows it's being followed. It must be. I must be better at this than I thought. Or they saw me and they decided to do nothing. Hmm. What to do, what to do. Whoa, this looks nice. Uh, if you guys know what this here means, please tell me in the comments. I can't read Japanese. I'd love to be able to learn Japanese, but I can't learn that yet. Well, I think these are uh, katana. No, um, oh, I forget the name for I know there's a katatana, I think, and then hiragana. And there's a third one, but I forget what it's called. But it's like an adoption of Chinese characters. Those of you who actually speak it and maybe understand what I mean, Please tell me if I've got anything wrong there. I am not an expert on languages. After a while, the car turns into a weathered driveway. The driveway is attached to an older house with a wide fence and yard. Children ranging in age from 3 to 10 play in the yard. Is this a school of some sort? Maybe it's Carrie's extended family. I linger back and forth as and watch Carrie. Wait. Oh, not the sad music again. I linger back and watch as Kyrie exits the care. As soon as she does, the, the, the younger children swarm 
no food to hug her legs. Carrie laughs when she sees the kids and opens her arms wide to return their, their hugs. Maybe this is what she's normally like, and she acts fierce to everyone else. A bright smile graces her face, and she's warm and gentle as she herds the kids into the yard. So here's the, um, the Darius side, right? So, uh, basically, if you were to break the word sundere up, right? So if you guys who speak Japanese or whatever, um, you'll probably understand this better than me. I think that, uh, soon means, like, um, like, fierce or whatever, or something along those lines. And then Dere means, like, a softer side? It's like, over time, that sundere is in, like, shows or whatever are supposed to, like, start off, like, being mean or whatever, then, like, show a softer side over time. A bright smile creases her face, and she's warm and gentle as she herds the kids back into the yard. The older children greet her with respect, but it's clear they're just as happy to see her. This is a different Kyrie from the one I know, and even though she said she'd kill me if I ever found out I saw the side of her, I'm glad I did. Whoa, that means I'm dead. Even before she sees me return her groceries. Um, this is probably the better option. Speaking of which, I should leave now if I'd like to avoid the wrath of Kyrie. I can return her groceries to her later. Smart choice. I quietly wheel my bike around and sneak off before she's able to spot me. I think about Kyrie and the kids my entire drive home. Wow. When I arrive home, Uncle Kaito is staring at the phone with a silly grin on his face. Was I right? He seems happy. You seem to be in a good mood, Uncle Kaito. You look tired as well. Kaito is startled by my voice, but quickly regains his cheery attitude. As a matter of fact, I am. All right. Any reason why? I just got off the phone with Yuki, and I am saved. I guess I was right. Yay! Saved. You called me today and apologized for going against our agreement. Okay. Pieces of our last conversation resurfaced in my memory. Ah, the agreement you made when you two separated. Uncle Kaito nods. She says that she can make the restaurant opening ceremony after all. Okay, that's good to hear. See, everything worked out. Yeah, I don't know what I was so worried about. Yuki has always been reliable and a true friend. Even after we separated, she was always there when I needed her. I'll be there for you. That's the friend's reference. Um, oh no, if she still digs you, not the second one or the third one, I'm gonna do the top one. It seems like you really care really deeply for her. Well, of course, I did love her. Maybe you still do. Who do you think you are, the love doctor? <laughs> I don't know what I'm trying to do, I'm just saying. This is the way things are between Yuki and I, and this is how it needs to stay. If you say so. So, I don't want to hear any more out of you. Don't worry, I'll keep my, um, face shut. All right, I trust your judgment. You're grounded if you keep this up, mister. <laughs> what? No! Uncle Kaito laughs. just messing with you. Thank you. Okay. Hello. Oh, no. Would you like to be patient? I don't want to be a bitch. Oh, no, not Nikki. Jesus. Uh, we both turn to see Nikki wearing her signature smile. As she glances over me, her smile falters. Before you say it, I'll go clean up your bike now. Thanks. Clean up his bike? You, uh, damaged it. You don't want to know. Kaito grins. Well, I have a bit of free time now, and I'm in the mood to celebrate. Do you guys want to watch something on Netflix? Netflix. <laughs> That's funny. We do avoid copyright. Nikki perks up at the idea, then stares pleadingly at me. Nikki. Before I have a chance to speak, she pouts her lips and looks at me with puppy dog eyes. Oh, no. You know that won't work. <laughs> Her voice chokes up. If futile, it's only one option. <laughs> it's futile to resist. Give in. That's gonna be the title of this video or whatever. Oh my god. Jesus. It, okay, fine. You can stay for one episode. The key beams. Yay. Thanks, bro. Alright. Kaito laughs at our exchange and we settle into the couch. You're going to be in real trouble, kiddo, if you give in so easily to the ladies. But I only had one option. It wasn't fair. Only for me. <laughs> Nikki leans against me and snuggles into a comfortable position. What are you doing? No, not incest! Shush, pillow. Oh my god. Uh, I think about protesting but realize how useless that, that'd be. Kaito noticed my sigh of resignation and grins. <laughs> Forget about being in trouble. You're already doomed. I've got to agree with you. I show you think I'd be immune to her witchcraft after 17 years of this? I put up with 17 years of this? Jesus. What do you guys want to watch? Um. Oh my god. What? Big gear theory. <laughs> Big bang theory. How I met your gear. The seven, that 70s. Oh, that 70s show. Uh, Game of Thrones. Uh, two and a half. I don't know this one's. Uh, Gears and Recreation. How I met your mother. That 70s show. Uh, Big bang theory. House of 
House of something. House of Carrots? I don't know. Breaking Bad, uh, Modern something. Agents of, um, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Oh, uh, yeah! Alright, how about we just go with Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Rogue Gears with special powers are tracked by secret organization Agents of Gear. You actually want to watch this? I found it to be a bit boring. Oh, come on! Uh, you have to watch it to the mid-season. Most of it was just filler until their movie counterpart was released. Oh, really? Hmm, maybe it's worth giving it a second chance. Nikki? Mm-hmm. I don't mind watching this. All right. Then it's settled. Kaito navigates through Netflix and selects the show. That's a really clever avoiding copyright. But we're going to end this video here. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I'm having way too much fun with this game, but... I, I, this is the third part I, I've recorded for today, and I'm, it's, uh, I, my voice is almost dead, but I hope you guys enjoyed this. Hopefully my voice doesn't sound too hoarse. I know it's gonna sound horrible for the rest of the day, and I probably have a total of 10 hours on Ace Academy now. Pretty much every minute which you guys have seen. But I hope you guys enjoyed this part, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.